Antes del, del corte le pedí al senador, uh, bueno, le hice una pregunta, ¿qué es lo que podemos hacer nosotros para apoyar el DREAM Act? Um, and Senator Cedillo, thank you so much for staying with us. Uh, so, so tell me again, what's the name of this, uh, this uh, chairman who blocked it? The chair of the Appropriations Committee is Felipe Fuentes. Felipe Fuentes. He is the assembly member for the 39th Assembly District in the San Fernando Valley. And is he up for election in, in, uh, in uh, November? We are all up for election in November. Okay. And, uh, and so, it, you know, I, 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 it's an unfair question because you're not inside of his head, but what, what, uh, it, it's obviously not the money. I mean, that's kind of a, a lame reason, $19 million in, in the scheme of things. They're, you know, uh, maybe it's the paperclip budget for one of the departments. So what, what's, what do you think is motivating him? What's the, uh, the agenda? You know, I, I always tell my staff that uh, we shouldn't speculate, uh, only observe the, the actions that people take. And I think it's important to note that uh, he is the chair, and these actions are taken by the committee as a whole, and that the chair is the person who gives the direction to the committee. And so the, these are the persons who are responsible. I won't speculate as to okay. what his motives are. Um, but I think given the the nature of, of his district and many of our districts who are here and the members of the Latino Caucus, that we have duties and obligations to try to, to move our community forward. Uh, I think this bill, in the context of what's taking place nationally, uh, Arizona, uh, Costa Mesa, uh, immigration reform, that it's important for California to send a message that in California that we're committed to doing all we can to assimilate immigrants give them the opportunities that that were that are permissible and rely on them to be like all other Americans to be part of our not just our past and our present but part of our future and so uh, let's moving to sort of the what citizens can do um, and how we can activate our community to to support the dream act what what would you recommend what is the uh, the effective uh, citizenry response you know the Mexican American Political Association has been very involved in this today, as have the Dream uh, Network, uh, Dream students throughout the state. Uh, they're calling on on the chairman to to uh, fund the bill in its entirety and to to move the bill forward. He has the capacity to do that. Uh, this funding won't affect this year's budget. Uh, we've compromised uh, with uh, with them on that, uh, but it's very important to do this now uh, to seize this opportunity. And to acknowledge the the hard work uh, that these students uh, invest, uh, they play by the rules. Uh, they show tremendous promise for the future, and that they should be treated like all other students and given an opportunity uh, to receive a scholarship and to continue to their studies. So you're saying uh, put pressure on the chairman? Well, that's what other organizations are doing. Uh, they're calling his offices, both in in the San Fernando Valley and in um, Sacramento. Uh, that's what the Mexican American Political Association has been engaged in all day today. We received their emails. And do, their... Do, you, do you would you have his office number handy by any chance? The number is public. It's uh, in San Fernando Valley. It's eight one eight five one two six four eight four. That's a public number. Uh, in the capital, all our numbers are public. Uh, his number is nine one six three one nine twenty thirty nine. Okay. Um, all right. Well. Uh, so. Um, well. We're going to get uh, some people, I think, to um, to give him a call and uh, see if we can um, move move the. Is he is he unopposed? Do you know, running in the. In the I, I don't know um, what his um, what what his status is for his selection in the fall. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I think all of us are accountable to our constituents, um, and that we should be responsive, regardless. You know, everybody who. Who lives in our district? Uh, we have a, an obligation to them, and those of us who are here, who people have a sense, represent the Latino community. You know, we have a duty and a sense of responsibility to them, and people look to us for for that type of leadership. And this is a, a decision that I think it benefits our community, benefits the state in general, but sends also a very important message uh, throughout the nation, uh, particularly at a time when we have states like Arizona. Uh, moving in the direction that they are, we have cities like Costa Mesa moving in the direction that they are, that it's important for us uh, in these leadership positions to make a clear statement that we support uh, immigrants. We want them to uh, live and comply by the laws, but we also want to create opportunities for them to do so. And there's no reason why getting a scholarship should be illegal. 
Okay, and uh, we're almost out of time, uh, Senator, but, but I want to ask you, uh, changing uh, gears here for a second, uh, we're about to uh, have uh, the mayor of San Francisco, Gavin Newsom, with us mm -hmm. here, um, and tomorrow we're going to have his opponent, the lieutenant governor, Aben Maldonado, as well. Um, who are you supporting and why? And we have a minute, so... <laughs> Well, you know, that's a really tough choice because they're both excellent choices. But uh, I'm a Democrat, and I have to support uh, uh, the Democrat who is so strong and affirmative on all our issues. Abel Maldonado is a dear friend, and he's a champion, and he represents us well. But as he, as he knows, and as I told him in his confirmation, uh, I, I voted to confirm him because he was qualified, but that in the fall that I, I would have to campaign for my friend Gavin Newsom He's been a champion on all our issues, driver's license, DREAM Act, uh, ID cards. Uh, he's a very capable and competent leader, and I think he's going to be one of California's uh, great future leaders. And so I'm, I'm strongly with uh, Gavin Newsom, even though he is running against my dear friend, Abel Maldonado. Okay, very well. Uh, Senator Gil Cedillo, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Tough okay. question at the end. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, vuelvo enseguida, soy Fernando Espuelas, no te lo pierdas. ¿Qué estás pensando tú? 323-520-1020. ¿Qué está pensando Felipe Fuentes? 323-520-1020. Vuelvo enseguida. El sitio oficial de Fernando Espuelas es espuelas.com. Ya regresamos.